What's up guys, Max here, and I wanted to do something for a while based on something I get a lot of requests on, and uh, this is a better time than any because just recently they actually became a sponsor of my channel as well as the Twitch channel, and it's on this thing, the NetDuma router. I get a lot of questions in regards to what is the thing you use to make Mortal Kombat actually work, and in terms of fighting games getting better connections, this is actually the device, and I kind of wanted to talk about it with you guys, but before we get into it, this is a sponsored video. The NetDuma guys, like I said, are helping out by sponsoring the channel and the Twitch channel. But my acquisition of this router isn't actually based on something they gave me, but they were willing to provide one. I didn't need another one because I bought this thing like two and a half years ago. Here's the initial reason why I initially wanted to get this router. It was touted as the router that could actually help you in terms of games that you had have rough connections in. You were able to geo-target where you want to connect to, and in games that were actually host-based, you might remember a little while ago I made some Call of Duty videos, and I actually liked playing Call of Duty for quite a bit until I was totally done with it. There was a game that came out called Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, and it was the beginning of the end for my interest in the series, but the game was so terrible connection-wise that I just couldn't stand it. And then I heard about these guys that was making this that were making this router at the time. It wasn't completely ready to go yet. And uh, once it was ready to go, I got the router like months after because it had finally become available, and I never had an opportunity to use it. I pretty much shelved the thing for like a year because my big use for it was going to be Call of Duty or games that were kind of host-based, and I want to be closest to the host as possible. And I just had, like I said, had no reason to use it until a little fighting game came out not that long ago called Mortal Kombat X. And this is before the netcode fix, where the netcode actually got really good. MKX was subpar to say the best. Uh, it was not good, and it was just a little bit better than Injustice, and finding good connections in Mortal Kombat X was rough. So what I did was, man, maybe that weird old router I had would actually help me out in the situation. And lo and behold, it really did. It legit made Mortal Kombat X an actual experience I wanted to play online because it found only the people with good connections and paired me up with them. It's especially good in moments where you're in like ranked, where you're trying to look for any random person. If you're like in a player match situation and you know the person you're connecting to, and if that person doesn't have a good connection and you don't have a good connection, it doesn't it doesn't mix magic. Like it can't fix your specifically bad internet instead of only giving you the people that do have good connections. And that's exactly what it was doing. So specifically the games that I've used it on that it's been beautiful for have been Ultra Street Fighter 4 on PC. Um, it's been Mortal Kombat X on consoles before the netcode patch. You don't really need it as much now. But if you're in any situation, oh man, oh, Poke Pokin was a big one as well as Smash Brothers for Wii U because that gives you spotty connections a lot. That really helped for those, and it actually made my experience with Pokin completely playable. When when I was not using it, I just I couldn't stand playing it online. There was so much input delay that it was hurting my soul, and uh, it really helped with that. It made me actually want to do a week of that game. So, here's the thing, you get all these tools at your disposal, and you have all this stuff that allows you to host filter and geo-target and choose the people that you want to connect to, and if you want to check that stuff out, it's on the NetDuma YouTube channel, they have guides for all of it, and it's pretty much just a router, like, it is a router, but it's the connectivity it has with the software that really works the magic. Um, pretty much anything that you guys might be having connection problems with, looking for people, if you know your connection is not the issue and you keep getting like funky connections, you can eliminate those people. For example, if you run into like a rage quitter, you can literally identify that rage quitter unless they don't like totally change their IP all the time, and then ban them on your end. You can tell the thing to get rid of that rage quitter and not match up with that guy anymore, and it won't. You can see the queue list every once in a while actually populate where the people are in the world that are matchmaking with you, all the potentials. And if some that are blocked are on there, it just says nope and keeps looking for another. If you want to look at certain games like Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, games that do not have really good netcode and you want to try to make it better, it would have helped with that, absolutely, if you were using it when the game came out. If you have games that don't have a huge player pool to choose from, like you go online and there might be like 20 to 30 guys, maybe less than 100, that are playing the game, well, all things considered, it works best in scenarios where there's a lot of options to choose from. If you set your perimeter around, like, maybe a hundred miles from you, and you know a lot of people are playing a game like Mortal Kombat X or Smash Brothers Online, something like that, that would usually have a pretty big player base, or even Mario Kart for that matter, 
it would work great in situations like that because those games have pretty big online communities. There's still a lot of people playing that stuff in games like Street Fighter V. But if you are in a game that is kind of old and you can't find a match or it's tough to find matches and you're limiting your space by which you can find matches on top of there already being a small player base, not gonna work that well. You need to understand where it works good and how it works good because the games that I have used it for, as long as I know that there are people playing online and we use it for those situations, it's worked really well. Um, so if any of you guys are running into problems like that, this was a saving grace for me for Mortal Kombat X, as well as Pokken, as well as when I played Smash Brothers online. I definitely recommend it. Uh, it's something that is a bit of an investment, so you kind of have to be really hardcore into your online gaming. You really want to have the best pristine connections and kind of filter out all the extra BS that's out there, which can come with a lot of large distances, which can come with spotty connections, people with packet loss. It can actually tell you what's up with your connection and if you need to fix stuff. And it's a device that I've already been using and they were still willing to sponsor the channel, which was very nice of them. Um, I do appreciate it and I'm looking forward to the future firmware updates that'll actually make the thing even better, which is uh, happening pretty frequently. So if you guys care about your online gaming and you want the best of the best, I highly recommend it. In terms of how good your connection is, I would always get a second connection, one for streaming, one for specifically gaming, and uh, it's helped out greatly, and it even helps you kind of mingle between your network if you want to add bandwidth to certain devices that are on your connection, you can identify that. You can be like, well, I want my cell phone to only get 2 meg upload and 2 meg download. You can actually tell the router to do that, which is some pretty, pretty nice stuff. Um, I haven't really gotten into a lot of crazy router stuff, but it's been easy enough for me to use, and it's helped me quite a bit on my home network in terms of uh, making sure the gaming works as good as freaking possible. Either way, that's all I got for you guys today. Like I said, if you want to check out the NetDuma guys, they have their own YouTube channel with a bunch of guides for all the tools that are available in the software, as well as on Twitter. I'm doing actually a giveaway right now of a NetDuma router, which I will link in the description below. If you're a subscriber on the YouTube channel, you already get like a couple of chances. If you're actually subscribed on my Twitch channel, you get like 25 chances. So there's a multiple amounts that you guys can actually enter if you care. And if you guys do want to check one out, out. I do have a promo code and it also saves 5% with code DUDE01, so that's D-O-O-D-01. And this is just a base code to help you guys out a little bit. I don't get any commission on this stuff, so if you are interested in picking one up, definitely save a little bit of cash. So, thank you for your patience. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. I'm going to be continuing working on all the shows I've been talking about because I'm very much, very much looking forward to it now that I have the time. As always, dudes, thank you a ton for watching. My name is Max and I'll see you next time.